The city of Vitebsk in northeastern Belarus is home to some 340,000 people. NEFCO is currently financing a wide range of environmental projects in the region. The most recent addition to the portfolio is a project here at the city's waste disposal site where methane is extracted to produce energy. Uh, at this particular landfill we have uh, put 61 gas wells. They are, uh, I think, average uh, depth 15 meters. Um, they are perforated plastic pipes that we have put down. From the plastic pipes we, uh, we produce um, uh, the methane down to our station area. At the station area we have a pump uh, and we have uh, the pump sucks from the landfill and pushes to an uh, ending that uh, drives a generator that produces electricity out for the net. The plant in Vitebsk is expected to produce around 6,000 megawatt hours of electricity annually. On top of this, the Swedish company Virio has rolled out similar projects in the Belarusian cities of Orsha and Gomel. In 2014, these three projects generated and distributed around 15,000 megawatt hours of electricity to the grid in Belarus. Uh, the potential, I think, uh is there and, and uh, we are planning to do some more landfills and after that I don't know if the potential is so so big for just landfill but I think the, the, it can be a potential for other energy ways. One ton of methane equals 21 tons of CO2. The capturing and combustion of the methane avoids significant emissions of greenhouse gases. These landfill projects are, in other words, benefiting the climate. Combustion of methane gas, a project co-financed by NEFCO, will reduce emissions of CO2 equivalents by some 32,000 tonnes annually. The same amount of uh, <coughs> energy we're producing in electricity, the same amount we produce in heat. So uh, we would be glad to uh, both sell it and to pr produce it, of course. The project in Vitebsk is just the beginning. Virio has already signed investment agreements for generating electricity from landfill gas in the cities of Grodno, Brest and Mogilev. In Russia, Virio has implemented a project in Gachina, close to St. Petersburg. Virio aims at becoming the leading producer of renewable energy in Eastern Europe. Turning waste to energy has become a niche of its own in the world of clean tech. The government need help to sorting and sorting plants need to be built but the biggest challenge is for the government to get uh, knowledge higher uh, with the people because sorting plants you can build but the sorting plants cannot take care of everything. It needs to be a little bit prepared before but the sorting plant would be very good to start with.